Hello YouTube, uh, this is uh, Alex from Bimos and today I'm going to finally uh, make this video about uh, how to fix uh, some, some data recovery because you know uh, Bimos does a lot of things um, just, uh, fixing uh, blackberries, fixing computers and we also do data recovery and I know this video clip is gonna piss some people off but you gotta do what you gotta do you know I mean a lot of them they don't have um, the um, a lot of people don't have the the money to to go to this kind of uh, recovery uh, company so let's see what we can do this hard drive it's just what you will see when you take it out of a Acer Okay, and uh, well, there's a screw here. I think I took a couple of screws out and stuff. So, you know, I'm just gonna take this one out here. It's one, and then we can take this out. I'm just gonna try to show you if. Okay. By the way, the gloves are very uncomfortable, but anyway. <clears throat> anyway, um, you don't have to be in a clean room to do this. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, basically this is the Western Digital 500 and what you need to do is take all the screws out so like one, two, three, four, five, six and there will be one here or somewhere. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll fill it where, when it comes. But let me tell you about this, the history of this guy. So the guy had it in the laptop and tried to kind of power the laptop and the laptop would not power uh, it would not uh, you know start windows and um, he went to a shop and the guy said the engine is dead blah 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 we cannot do anything you have to go to a million dollar company and uh, you know pay like crazy and then you know the guy you know, of course he can't afford that so he came to me or maybe he can afford, but he came to me first. I don't know, uh, and I don't care really. I I do this kind of service for uh, for a reason. So when I heard the hard drive, when you power it on, it goes like mm, 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 mm. so. Basically, what happened is the engine tries to spin the the disc, but it can't because it has no power. So it's not powerful enough. Actually, what happened is the, 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 the reading heads, they got stuck to the platter. And now, the engine tries to start the hard drive, but it can't because it's stuck to something that's uh, fixed. This happens because, you know, the user, you know, probably used the computer, uh, it just... Uh, put it on sleep mode or it just went outside and never came back and the, 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 the hard drive heated up a little bit and uh, when this, this the hard drives they, they, they stop at some point in time they are set to stop from Windows environment huh? and you know it did stop but the heads didn't have enough time to park themselves here or it depends on the model so they, they got stuck in the middle and because of the heat they got attached to the the platter and when the user came back tried to put the computer on that's what you get and when you hear that sound and no spinning sound you know that's what you get so what we need to do is open this you have to cut this short because you know time's flying we have to cut this um, sorry open this um, how do you call it uh, hard drive up and try to you know detach the you can go through this thing I think um, detach the the heads from the platter which is should be simple there's an element of chance you can break it you can fix it so but nobody will you know make uh, it better so uh, where is that head here yeah. so the idea is that if you break it because that's one chance. Huh? If you break it, then you go back and then you get the new heads 
and then you swap the heads and you still recover the data but you can you have one out of two chances to you know get your data without spending a dime and very easy very fast huh? I did this a few times so you know it's not that but I want to do this live for you so you know we you know if it breaks it breaks if it doesn't then we're okay by the way I'm so lazy that I will do this in part two recovering of this uh, hard drive but you know if you want to think that I'm a fake then you will <laughs> you'll think it anyway so I don't mind people who are uh, like that hold your comments please they don't bother me but <laughs> they look bad for you <laughs> okay um, uh, if you want to subscribe or be my guest no problem I'll make these videos and you know I try to be real keep it real like some guy would say I don't wanna okay yeah there's another screw I'm uncertain where it is but we can do some tests it should be just that's the engine it's either on the engine or here we can you know do this you take a whatever and then you rub it against and it was supposed to be here oh, it's not there so it's it there or just underneath here man. I mean the simplest way is to kind of uh, get the oh, supposed to let's see because you could see the mark of the of the screw don't press it too hard because you know you'll break. <laughs> you know I, I'm, I'm really you know when I do this kind of videos um, oh it's here it's here I'm stupid because there's a sticker on top of it and the sticker doesn't go but it's here is it there you see it's coming so the hard drive came undone so good 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 I mean I'm using these fancy tools but I mean you can use anything you know it's just it's just as good you don't have to go pro for there's another screw what I really feel that there's another screw I can watch See this coming. Yep. Okay. Um, I really like the people that uh, you know are taking care of hard drives like crazy, man. It's not like whatever you will do now is just pff, never going to you know help much. Okay, there's another goddamn screw. Sorry. I think it's here. I see a mark. Yep, it's there somewhere. Oh, bloody. It's supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. The sticker is here. drums okay sorry probably you didn't see that but anyway let me see if I, okay I'm working off site sorry sorry good anyway this is the important stuff so kind of when you open it up ta -da! you see the heads did not have enough time to part so they are kind of they went and they got stuck there and they were supposed to be here you see so that's the problem now 
Now you have to understand how this works. This spins like this. Okay. So what we need to do is put a finger here, not without the glass. Very important because sebum will stick to the platter. Okay. It's important to do this as fast as possible. You know, don't lose too much time because there's, you know, it's not a clean room. So you know. So basically now I'm just gonna put the finger in. It's very important not to talk about it or wear a mask. But. see dust you'll always see dust okay anyway try to open it try to move it in the sense and then park the heads okay so you see it's very hard so the, the the engine doesn't have power enough power but it's okay so you move it move it and you can also help the, the heads to go faster but not too fast Now the now the engine sp spins freely. Okay, There's a little bit of dust there. Okay. Now you put this back. You can also use a magnet for this kind of thing, so magnetize a screwdriver. But the idea here is that, I mean, this is one in two chances of getting this uh, hard drive really on its, back on its track for, for, for very, very little uh, amount of um, work and, um, and uh, you know, amount of work and amount of stress and you know and you can easily do it yourself you know it's just you have to be confident you don't have to put your fingers on the platter because that would be bad um, leave marks or something like that I mean it's not that bad you know okay you can leave a little bit and then the hard drive will still kind of will have errors you will lose data but your important things are just like the photos of your child and stuff like that so the marriage uh, uh, you know, porn maybe, I don't know, um, but the, the idea here is that uh, it's, you can do it yourself and then you don't have to go to these kind of things. I mean, I can do it for you, no problem, so you know, you send it to Bimos, see it here somewhere, uh, you know, the cheapest background you can find. I just stamped my background, so I hope I'm gonna keep this rule because it's important to Okay, but anyway, I'm done now. You see, I'm ready for testing. That's it. You know, it's sealed. So, I will do this in another video. I'm just, you know, going to put the computer here. So, you see, uh, take all notes, all details. So, it should be the same hard drive, right? Okay, if it doesn't work, of course, I won't post it. So, <clears throat> K, 
keep fro keep your fingers crossed for this anyway but you see that's all you need to do any hard drives are the same so don't go you know I I, I hope you know, my viewers I have a little bit of logic uh, you know you don't need too much too many tools what you need pry tool Physis, uh, pentagon or hexagon uh, uh, screwdriver tweezers and that's it and you just can there uh, unnamed can there uh, compressed uh, air <coughs> to choose Okay, and gloves, of course, gloves. Gloves are very important. Actually, that the most important thing that you need here, you can use a pointy, pointy knife, and that's it. Uh, but the gloves are very important. So you know, uh, try to put the gloves on. It's one euro, one buck, whatever. You know, get any gloves that you know are surgeon gloves or you know cleaning gloves or whatever. Don't put your sebum. You know what you have on your hands is very very dangerous for um, the, the the hard drive. It will not read uh, greasy uh, tracks or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, I'm ready for testing now. I'm gonna stop the video. Ooh, 16 minutes. <clears throat> anyway, <clears throat> I'll stop it. Hope you enjoyed it. And it was fun, fun for me. I liked it. I liked it. I did it, did it like 20 times now, so um, it should be should be okay. Okay. I'll see you after the break. Ciao, ciao.